I think that would be the dream, parent's dream to be assured that everything's going to be just fine and it's going to be successful. But I think um, at the age of when Will went through it at 13, we had been through enough things to know that um, his life of medical complexity is, is quite uncertain. So I think as a family, we were probably a little bit more comfortable with that idea of uncertainty. And honestly, we had um, probably the best experience when Dr. Emmons um, kind of expressed how uncertain things can happen and um, the outcome is not always certain. So for, for us, it was actually finding a match um, and a shared experience of understanding that this is very complex, recognizing that, um, being real about uncertainties, um, but then also looking for some assurances of the likelihood that things might go well um, and what we could do to make sure that we have the best chance of it going well. Uh, I, I, from a physician point of view, we would like everything to be cut and dried and uh, we'd like the outcomes to be predictable and to be certain. Um, that's clearly not the case. Uh, we're, uh, we're often surprised at, uh, at uh, things that either go well or go, uh, go badly. Uh, and to, uh, to try to share your uncertainty with the family um, puts us in an odd position. Uh, so uh, some families kind of feel as if uh, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, if you say, well, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I'm not quite sure what the, what the right uh, choice is here. Uh, but I think in the end, uh, just being as absolutely honest as possible about what you're worried about um, and what, may, uh, what you really think may go right or may go wrong uh, is, is better. Um, the... Uh, uh, so sharing with the family that the bone may be too soft to uh, achieve satisfactory fixation and that you may not get very much correction or that the rods may pull out of place or something like that, that's worth bringing up as opposed to uh, saying, oh, don't worry, I'll worry about that, everything will be fine. So I, I think that transparency helps and multiple conversations help. Mm -hmm. And we just have such little evidence overall. There's such little scientific background studies that we can pull from that tell us based on this child's comorbidity profile, their age, their degree of curve, <clears throat> everything else, their likelihood of having a smooth post-op recovery is this. And the likelihood that the surgery is going to work is this. Um, and so it really is so much left up to clinical judgment of us subjectively trying to put all this information together to convey what we think is the most accurate portrayal of risk and benefit. But even when we do that, we're caveating it with so much uncertainty around that, which is not reassuring.